Grand rising beautiful humans and welcome to Rising Minds, where our intention is clear and it's to share information for transformation. And I'm out here in the beautiful Thailand, an island called Koh Phangan, and it's absolutely stunning. And I always make sure that my environment is supporting my intentions and my mission and my purpose. And the nature environment always tends to be one that inspires me. So if you're listening to this podcast um, on audio, I just want to announce that this is also available on YouTube now, and my intention is to create more content with video as well. So I'm going to put the links in the show notes if you're listening to the audio, so you guys can come and watch and get an understanding of the beautiful background that's behind me. But either way, it's the information that counts. So what I wanted to talk about today, guys, with you guys, and I want to go straight into it, is the deeper understanding of how when we change our energy we change our life and what does it actually mean because a lot of times people say that but they don't know what it means and they think it's philosophical or they think it's spiritual but i'm here to bridge that gap i'm here to explain to you guys and demystify and make and make it a bit more clear of what that actually means when we change our energy we change our life and and ultimately that means our emotional body that means our emotions when we change our emotional state which is our vibrational state so when we change our emotional state what we need to remember is that our emotions is energy in motion so when we're feeling a certain way it, it's an emotion that's running through our body it's a state of being so if i am in a state that is angry frustrated worry fearful first of all my body my nervous system is in a sympathetic nervous system it's fight or flight you know i'm either going to run or i'm going to hide or i'm going to fight or i'm going to freeze and parasympathetic is the opposite right so that's the rest and digest the calm state the focused relaxed state and the intention here of what i want to share with you guys in this podcast um is that we need to understand that there are ways and means of changing our state changing how we feel and this is really important like this is more and more modern science is showing that we have the ability and the capability to on demand change our state of being isn't that cool right so you're able to on demand change how you feel because a lot of the time we are constantly getting impacted by our external environment so things people situations experiences constantly change how we feel in our body so we give a meaning to an experience and all of a sudden we we think a certain way we feel a certain way and it's always feedback right the feeling in our body the emotion that energy in motion is feedback to my quality of thinking so what am i thinking in my mind if i'm thinking fearful thoughts i'm going to have fear in my body if i'm thinking angry thoughts i'm going to have anger charge in my body right but a lot of time what we forget is that a lot of this is happening unconsciously a lot of this is happening out of our awareness it's an autonomic automatic pr- process so things happen we feel we respond we react that that and it's always happening right so so what i want to cover here with you guys today is first of all the awareness so we need to be aware that when we are not feeling well when we're not feeling good in our body and that's low vibrational frequencies anger fear sadness emotional pain and hurt guilt shame these energies these emotions they drain our body they drain our energy that's number 1 they bring us down number 2 they dictate how we perceive reality now this is really important guys what i say they dictate how we perceive reality because it's so important to remember that our perception of reality meaning how we see the world is an internal external process it's not outside in it's inside out so we information goes through then that information subjective to how we're thinking how we're feeling our beliefs our conditioning a lot of influences but one of the major ones is our emotions is going to allow us to delete distort and generalize information data in our reality subjective to our emotional state of being so when someone is fearful and we know this now over the last few years there was a lot of fear in the world so a lot of people were operating in a sympathetic nervous system and 
anywhere they looked, everywhere they looked, they saw fear. They were worried. There were things that there was an anticipation of something that's going to go wrong because they're operating from that space of awareness. They're operating from a fearful state of being, right? So that emotion in their body, the fear in their body, constantly made them on the lookout. So we're constantly worrying about what could go wrong next. When COVID happened, we had a fear. A lot of people were worried and fearful, right? So there was a look out for, be careful from. So there was a constant worry and we couldn't see the positives. We couldn't see the, 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 the things that could go right. We couldn't feel strong in our body for a lot of people because there was a constant on the go fear that was going on, right? In our, in our, in our mind and, in, and that's, it reflects in our body. And what you need to remember that all negative emotions, fear, sadness, emotional pain and hurt, guilt and shame and anger are not good for our body. It's okay to experience them. It's okay to respond and react, but to keep it in our body, to stuck, get stuck there is actually destroying us. It's actually proven today that it actually makes us, creates dis-ease in the body. Dis-ease, not disease, dis-ease. And from dis-ease, we move into disease, right? So when we go back to the statement of when you change your, your, body, your energy, you change your life, it is actually very, very true because what happens is when you're changing your energy from a lower vibrational frequency, lower emotion to a higher emotion, meaning a higher frequency in the body, right? It's not dense. It's not heavy. It's not tense. It's more open. It's more, 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 more positive. It's more, it's more thinking about a positive future. It's more thinking of what could go right as opposed to what could go wrong. And that's the, the reason that's happening is because the emotions in the body is more of peace, calm, joy, excitement, uh, confident, like beautiful emotions in the body that is feeling good in the body, that is optimistic about what could go right. And when we are optimistic of what could go right, now our behaviors, think about this, our behaviors start to match that experience. So our behavior starts to match how we think and how we feel, right? So if I have a person that is in a state that is optimistic, excited, they are willing and unconsciously will start to take action towards what they are excited about, right? And if we have someone in the other side that is fearful of what could go wrong, they start to take action and behavior to protect themselves of what could go wrong. So they're anticipating the worst. But now we know if we keep focusing on what could go wrong and the worst, we're actually not necessarily protecting ourselves. We're taking steps backward because we're not moving. We're, we're constantly in a, in, in, in a contract. We're, we're contracted. We're, we're, we're tense. And that's not serving us because a, a conscious creator is a creator, is a, is a, is a mindset and an energy that is taking action towards what they want, not what they don't want. I'm going to repeat that again. A higher state of being, a higher frequency is taking action towards what they want, not what they don't want. So if I'm taking action towards what I want, I'm moving closer in my reality to the results and the outcomes that I want to experience. But if I'm taking actions towards what I don't want, because all my measures and all my behaviors is moving me away from whatever I'm running away from, then I'm moving further away from what I want to create for myself. So when we talk about changing your energy now, what does that look like? So what do you mean, Sam, by changing your energy? Now, this is like when I work with traders or even non-traders, this is extremely important because if you're looking to create a life of freedom for yourself, if you're looking to become better, a better trader, if you're looking to become more a person that is, you need to be able to manage your emotional state so you're dictating the behaviors that match whatever you want to move forward to, right? And there are different practices, there are different uh, modalities, tools that are proven today, scientifically proven, that if you apply them, if you do the work, if you develop that skill set, you will have the ability to change your emotional state, which is how you feel in the body, 
which will subs will subsequently will which will naturally change how you think because you can never think greater than you feel. So if you're feeling fearful in the body, you're going to have fearful thoughts. If you're feeling angry, you're going to have angry thoughts. So one thing needs to snap out. One thing needs to there's a needs a pattern interrupt needs to happen. So the shift is is always something that we need to induce. And the best way to induce it is you have to techniques and tools. So one very easy one that everyone has access to. Guess what that is? If you're listening now, guess what that is where you have access to it 24/7. And yes, if you thought it was the breath, that's correct. So breath practices, there's different types of breath practices. In fact, a lot of people don't know, but I'm a soma breath instructor. I actually did a few courses with the soma institute and i'm a facilitator where i'm able to instruct and manage soma practices and what i do at the academy at the conscious training and also with my private clients i provide audios guided audios that is actually designed to change your state of being so for example for my trading community they before they start the market they want to be in a positive state they want to be focused they want to be alert they don't want to be fearful going in i'm afraid that i'm going to lose money i mean that's not that's not an attitude of a trader to go in, right? Same thing with any aspect of life. You don't want to be attempt starting something you want with a, a nervous state of being, a, a fearful or worried or no, you want to come in with calmness, you want to come with focus. So I always emphasize on that. So one area that you can practice by yourself and develop your skills by yourself is just getting into breath practices. Getting into breath practices that can within guys within 10 20 minutes you change your state you feel different in your body and your mind the thought processes change it's just a beautiful in uh, uh, um, symbiotic uh, uh, connection between body and mind and we need to speak the language of the body right so from an entry level for those that are not you know wanting to go into the world of neurology and neurotransformational tools and they just want to get i just want to know how do i can change it the breath is the number one and the most easiest and most effective way to change your state instantly, okay? Now, the, the, the thing is that I have to be full disclosure and transparency with you guys is that, yes, that's the best, that's a great tool and it's still one of the best tools out there. But if you're dealing with things in your mind, if you're dealing with things in your body, you have anchors that you haven't overcome from your conditioning, trauma, past experiences. The breath is great because it changes your state, so you snap out of it. But you still got to do the inner work because if you don't, one day later, one week later, one month later, something happens, something triggers you back into that, back into that program. So the triggers, which are, I call the anchors, need to be worked on. They need to be released from the body, from the nervous system. So you don't snap. You don't, you don't get triggered by things and people and situations. And all of a sudden you're back into that frustrated, angry, fearful, worried state of being. Because if you have that in your system, it will call it back. So yes, breath is fantastic to snap out of it. And, but the idea is to have breath as a tool, but also do some inner work, release whatever is in your nervous system, whatever is in your past, whatever unprocessed emotions that you haven't done, which is things I do at the academy and in my personal practice, which is key because if you're not working on yourself, you're gonna constantly be surprised. Why do I keep getting triggered? Why do I find myself in this feeling? You guys can hear the birds, it's unbelievable space here. Yeah, so they just go on sometimes. But yeah, so 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 it's insane and and, and, and crazy to to not be practicing or have some skill set today in the modern day today where we are the only species that on demand can change our nervous system and change our state through breath. So if anyone's listening to this or if you're watching this video, the best advice I can give you is to start to develop your skill set when it comes to breath because through breath you can manage and and regulate your nervous system these are quick fixes but are so powerful now if you're someone that you find yourself most of the time frustrated most of the time angry most of the time fearful most of the time it's just an that's your that's your uh, uh, your auto automatic program your automatic state then there's work to be done there then there's things that needs to be done on a deeper level so you don't so you release that program that state of being which is how you think how you feel in your physiology and that will help you uh, move forward easier. So you don't have to keep going every 10 minutes or every morning. And no, you, it's good to have that as a practice, but you shouldn't be fighting this trigger all the time. 
That's why I always recommend neurotransformational tools. I recommend understanding your neurology through different practices like hypnotherapy, like NLP, like uh, um, 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 uh, NLP is, is very powerful, by the way, in the, in this in this context, like time paradigm techniques, therapy, a lot of therapies out there that help induce and release those stored emotions in the body. Right. So fundamentally speaking, my message to you guys today is if you're listening to this or if you're watching this video and you're enjoying this beautiful background behind my behind me here, I want to remind you that if there's one skill that you need to develop in your life today, that will change your life, literally change your life. It's learning the breath practice because that will uh, give you the ability and the capability to change your energy, to change your e energy. When I talk about energy, guys, again, I'm re reaffirming to, I mean, I mean the emotions, the energy in your body. And this is extremely important. Why? I even did a video about this the other day. Why is this so important? Because when we are in a specific emotional state, I'm reiterating this message one more time, we only see the world through those lenses. So we only see the world through fear, or we only see the world through frustration, or through worry, or through whatever that lens, that, you're, that emotion. So the emotions is like wearing a set of glasses. And when you wear that set of glasses and you haven't changed, you're, you're gonna see the world in one or two colors. That's it, it's dictated by those emotions. And I want to invite everyone to move into neutrality, to move into a space where you're not dictated by your emotions. You're actually in the ma and on control of what state you want to be in so you can produce the behaviors that match the results that you want in your life. And this is super, super important. So I'm emphasizing this message to you guys one more time. Remember, when we say we change our energy, we change our life. Yes, that is 100% accurate, scientifically speaking. And if you want to get into spirituality and vibrational frequency, that's all measurable. So your energy in your body is measurable. So we understand, okay, so when I change my energy, I change my life. Why? Because when you change your energy, you change the way you behave. You change the way you think. You change the way you perceive your world. You perceive reality through a different lens. And this is super important because when you change the way you see the world, you change the way you see yourself. And now things start to change. As Wayne Dyer said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change, right? And that's super important. But in order for us to see that change, in order for us to, to be able to perceive that, we need to make sure that our body, which is the unconscious mind, our emotional body is in alignment it's in alignment for what it is that we want. I want to feel good every day. Yes, that's your birthright. You want to feel good. It's okay if you get up every day sometimes where you don't feel good. That's okay. But then it's your responsibility to go and change your energy. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck in that frequency, in that vibrational state, in that energy. And then you will keep in that loop, in that program. And then you start to think and feel the same way throughout the whole day. And your perception of reality is focused on that feeling and that emotion. So your, your mind is like a search engine. So it will search for what else can make me more fearful? Oh, I need to keep looking out for what could go wrong. So that's fear. What else is that person think, doing to me that's, that is uh, making me more frustrated or angry? What else is that situation? You know, so the mind is, is, oh, you're feeling this way. Okay, let me search more to make sure you're sticking to that space of awareness, that sympathetic nervous system. So it's your responsibility. And listen to what I'm saying. Response ability. It's your response ability to change and it, your state of being. But honestly, guys, if you're someone that is struggling with that, if you're someone that, that, that doesn't know how to change their state, that doesn't know what, if that, what even that looks like, or they find themselves always stuck in a specific state, reach out. This is, what, this is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we cover. This is how we help people. This is why I'm on that mission. That's my mission. That's my intention is to unlock people from their own uh, negative emotional states, from their own frequencies that is keeping them limited so they can move into a space where they are now taking action in their life 
and they're having the right habits and behaviors to match the experiences that they want to create for self. They're not running away from something, but rather they're moving towards something else. So no more worry, no more fear. I think our world is, is, is full of that. And we need to take our power back. We need to really take our power back in terms of changing our body's energy, focusing on what we want to create for ourselves and for our families and for our loved ones in our space and more importantly for ourselves because when we take our energy back and we take control of our life and we no longer become the victim to our external circumstances in our life then we are become what I like to call conscious creators of our lives so guys I trust this has value for you guys I trust this is going to open your mind to ask the right questions of what am I doing in my life today to change my energy? Do I, what can I research? Can I look up certain things? Can I, you know, whatever it is, but may this be a, 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 a point, you know, to inspire you further, you know? Yesterday, for example, here in Thailand, I went and I did a 45 minute um, practice. It was a breath practice. It's a cold the type of breath practice called holotropic breathing. So you're breathing in through the mouth instead of in through the nose, but a very powerful practice for 45 minutes, almost an hour actually, where I was just doing the cycle in a group of people. And it was an amazing experience. And I could feel, I could literally feel my body. And this is, if you practice this, you would know my body was changing into an electric electricity. I felt like all my body was electric and that's part of the experience. I felt like my, I felt when I finished the, the practice, I felt my mind was super clear. I was super present. I wasn't in my thinking in my past. I wasn't thinking about the future. I was here and now. And I was like, wow, my, my it's like almost like a, a reset. Like you could, you, <laughs> I say this all the time. It's like you press, restart your computer. That's, that's what breath can do for you. It literally restarts your nervous system and, your, and, and resets your mind. So here's my message to you again, guys. If you're practicing breath, good for you. If you are not familiar with it, do some research, reach out, happy to share and guide you guys what's the best resources. And if you're someone also struggling, even though you do breath, but you're still struggling to snap out of it to, and you find yourself going back to those old patterns and behaviors and you really wanna step out of it, also guys, feel free to reach out. That's my intention. I'm always here to guide, to support, to make sure that you are fully empowered in your life. You take your power back and you can become, a truly, truly, truly become by the words of I, what I mean, a conscious creator of your life, not allowing the body to dictate you, but rather you are in charge of your destiny and your body. Remember, your body is the unconscious mind. Anyway, guys, I trust this has been of value. Thank you for tuning in, either if you're listening to this on audio or you're watching the, this on video, even better. Uh, sending you all uh, much love and positive energy.